Hey, what's up? I'm Tech Bro here. Today we have a review of Lenovo Yoga Tab 11. This is one of the most unusual tablets on the market. Let's find out how he can surprise us. Let's get started. If you like my tablet reviews, support this video with a like. And you can even subscribe to the channel. We see the recognizable design of yoga tablets with a bulge at the bottom or side, depending on how you hold it, and a retractable stand. If you hold the tablet horizontally, then on the right is a USB Type-C connector, a power button, a volume rocker and a tray. Left is completely clean. The materials here are varied. The main case is plastic, the stand is made of metal and half of the back panel it is covered with textiles, already familiar from yoga laptops. The fabric feels strong. But just in case, I keep the tablet away from my cats. The unusual shape of the case allows you to comfortably hold the tablet with your hand. Plus, without any covers, only due to the built-in stand, put it on any flat surface, table or bedside table. Well, turn it over and hang it up. For example, in the kitchen. Another interesting point. In the full specifications, I found mention of protection against water and dust according to the IP52 standard. Yes, there is a seal on the tray. But it's actually splash protection. For example, the tablet is somewhere in the kitchen next to the sink. So a few drops of water will survive but it is definitely worth refraining from immersion in water. So what is this device for? Like its brothers in the yoga tablet line, it is primarily an entertainment center for the whole family. Only much more affordable than the top 13-inch model. Entertainment begins with Google Entertainment Space, which is reserved for the left screen of the system. This is an aggregator for movies and videos, games and books. In fact, this is a convenient add-on for the entertainment sections of the play market. In addition to this, Netflix is pre-installed. On the front is an excellent 11-inch screen with a resolution of 2000 by 1200 pixels. It's an IPS panel, so no PWM flicker. Declared a brightness of 400 nits and support for Dolby Vision. It's nice that the price cut didn't hurt the sound. The Yoga Tab 11 still has excellent JBL branded speakers. There are four in total. Two at the base and two at the ends. They are loud, with a pronounced stereo effect. In a small apartment, they can easily replace a smart speaker. Of course, traditionally for Lenovo, there is a fine-tuning of the sound using the Dolby Atmos application. It has both ready-made presets and the ability to manually move the equalizer sliders. As a result, there will be no problems with either cinema or music. And what about the games? It is clear that the top-end Snapdragon will not be installed in the affordable model. It has a mid-range processor MediaTek Alio G90T. It comes with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of main memory. Plus, expansion with microSD memory cards. This hardware allows you to enjoy games at medium settings. Only in the case of very heavy games like Genshin Impact, you may need to switch to low graphics settings. A clear plus compared to the more expensive 13-inch tab is its smaller size and weight. So while playing Yoga Tab 11 it is moderately comfortable to hold in your hands and not connect a gamepad. For the little ones, the kids' space application from the same Google is useful. Parents only need to create an additional child account and set up restrictions. After that, children get a safe space for fun and learning. Now a few words about using the tablet for work. And oddly enough, I'll start with the cameras. The front camera is also for face unlock, and this is the main type of unlocking the tablet here. Works quite fast and stable. And, of course, video conferencing. Inside is an 8MP module capable of writing video in full HD. And at the same time, it is complemented by a scene depth sensor. That allows you to blur the background in real time. For high-quality sound, two microphones were installed on the upper edge. 
Unlike the Tab 13, the Yoga Tab 11 has a rear camera. This is also an 8MP module. Its main purpose is clearly not shooting the surrounding beauties, but documents and business cards. What a set of specialized modes subtly hints at. The tablet will try to identify the document, align it and, for example, save it in a clearer black and white version. Further, the tablet supports the proprietary Precision Pen 2. For this, a couple of applications for handwritten notes and drawing are already pre-installed. And of course, what kind of working tablet will do without a mode that imitates the desktop of a computer? Here it is called High Performance Mode. When activated, and even if you connect a mouse and keyboard, the tablet turns into an almost real PC. Only using Android. A taskbar appears at the bottom of the screen with the ability to quickly switch between applications. In terms of communications, this is a classic. Nothing fancy like micro HDMI on the more expensive Yoga Tab 13. Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.0 are on board. There is no headphone jack. That is, you will have to use either wireless or an adapter. There are versions on the market with and without an LTE modem. The LTE version in the tray next to the memory card has a place for a SIM card. And here are a couple of surprises. First, no, you can't call on a tablet like on a phone. The cellular module is purely for mobile internet. Second, judging by the specifications, the satellite navigation module with GPS support is only available in the LTE version of the tablet. It is not available in the Wi-Fi version. By the way, I have the last one on the test. Finally, work time. The Yoga Tab 11 has a 7,500 mAh battery. The manufacturer promises about 15 hours of video playback. The kit also comes with a 20-watt power supply with support for fast charging. It takes about 2 hours to charge. Price and Conclusions the tablet costs 270 to 320 US dollars. In total, it turned out to be an excellent heir to the popular Lenovo Yoga Smart Tab tablet. The screen resolution has increased, the processor has become much more powerful, and there is more memory. Instead of two speakers, there are now four, the battery and rear camera have been slightly improved. Plus, Android 11 and many software features that improve and facilitate the use of the gadget entertainment and children's spaces, Lenovo Assistant, and of course the desktop mode. The disadvantage for some may be the lack of a regular headphone jack in the tablet. Well, I noticed some lags when using multitasking. This is where the thumbnails of all running applications are. But I will attribute this to not the most recent firmware. That's been it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.